Achanva ZD, everything cool? It's your boy Super Fantastic the video shows B flow in the area. And we are back on Unplugged. Today I'm excited uh, to host a very good friend of mine, one of my closest friends in the world. Um, we call each other brother for life, and he is none other than DJ Booga, Flavor Boy, Maki Two. What, what's the match name? Or I eat, but I didn't stay up. So cool, bro. Fun or that. Yeah. So welcome to Tikambe Unplugged and. Um, in case you're joining us for the first time, we do this Tuesdays and Thursdays. I host your favorite celebrities on this show, and we just talk about you know different things during the times that we're in. We're talking about COVID-19 and how it has affected the music industry. Nothing much is happening. We know you are bored, so we thought of bringing you a show just to entertain you and just catch up with you, find out what we're up to, and we also want to know what you're up to. So, Buga, welcome to Unplugged. Thank you so much. It's a pleasure to be here. Thanks, man. What have you been up to? Um, mostly just home and studio, because mm. my studio is, is, is not open to the public, so mm. at least it's not like there's a lot of people coming through. So even before COVID, it wasn't open to the public? Uh, we had to shut it down after. Oh, okay. Yeah, we had to shut it down after. Um, but yes, it's pretty much uh, very limited necessary movements. Mm. Yeah. yeah, if it's not necessary or if it's something that we can we can chat about on phone, we yeah. do it. You know, it's like a Zoom. So how are you communicating with your family, friends, uh, fans? Yeah, mostly this is like one of the greatest things to happen to our entertainment industry or to show business. It's mm -hmm. the internet. Yeah. Social media is, is, I know a lot of people talk about how destructive it can be, but it has done more good than harm. Yeah. You know what I mean? If mm -hmm. you use it correctly, it's like a very, very productive tool. Yeah. Nice one. Uh, any, any new music? Uh, you have this uh, tradition of releasing a gospel song at the beginning of every year. Now I'm trying to remember, did you release a gospel song this year? What happened? The <laughs> no, 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 the main reason. The first really. time, the first time um, mm. I visited your house mm. um, back on the copper belt back in the day, mm. the first thing you showed me was your baptism certificate. Yeah. Hey, so, so I have a little the essence of putting out those gospel songs is is just encourage people mm -hmm. really mm -hmm. and there are ways that you can encourage people without really like making it all about god even if it always is um so last year we put out a song called uh Wombath yeah. with like 42 other artists yeah. it had like 43 artists on it that was like the beginning of the year so it wasn't really like a typical gospel song um, this year we put out a song called I Declare with Chester ah, and Bobby Gis. Oh yeah. So it's right. it's it's gospel. It is, it is, it is. Yeah, yeah because whatever you were saying on that song is pretty much what uh, the Bible talks about uh, speaking using your tongue yeah. like uh, the Speak power of the tongue. Into existence, yes, yeah. yes, the power of the tongue. So when you say I declare and decree mm. that this 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 will happen, that's what you're going to be. Yeah, that's what nice I did. one, man. Yeah. But I, I'm I'm really happy to see you. You know that apart from sana because of HTK uh, so we can't wait for this situation to be over. Yeah. Uh, people were getting a, a little worried a few days ago. But, yeah, guys, he, he's in the church. <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah. Hey, so uh, Coincidentally, I'm listening to the radio and 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 I'm listening to the radio yeah. Yeah. So maybe you can clarify just in case that people that um, still think of me up a pain. I think my reckless days are in the past. Like who could daddy go? You know what I mean? <laughs> um 
the last uh, couple of years, I've really, really tried to be like um, a model citizen yeah. or a law-abiding citizen. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? I've done so many projects where I feel like, mm, with the influence that I have and the power that I have, is this really how I want my legacy mm -hmm. to be or how I want to be remembered? Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So yeah. sometimes it may seem a little boring or this guy is just... A, B, C, D. Mm -hmm. But at the end of the day, w with great power comes great responsibility. Yeah. We have a responsibility to build and inspire people. Or to whom much to, is given, much is expected. Exactly. To create some sort of positive change with what we do. Right. So um, I'm very aware of uh, decisions that I make. Mm. So if I do yeah but um in t i intentionally um try by all means to be on the right side of the law nice mm. super proud of you man uh, i'm so proud of you for not just this but also the many things that you you have achieved you've done so much for the industry thanks man. you've paved way for some of the greatest um, hip hoppers we have, some of the greatest artists that we have in this country, including your own brother, Chef 187. Mm. Uh, how, how do you feel every time you hear his name being mentioned? Maybe uh, he's doing a commercial, or maybe his song is playing somewhere, or Nabam Saina somewhere. How do you feel when you look at somebody who looked up to you? Obviously, he still does look up to you, but somebody you groomed. Um. There are so many sides to look at this, you know. Um, on one side, I'm an artist, mm. you know, who's in the industry. And uh, up to now, the artist in me still wants to be the greatest to ever <laughs> do this. You know, that sort of thing. There's also the side of me being owning Alpha Entertainment, where the chef is signed. So every time he's about to put out a project, we are the ones in the forefront pushing the music, all of us. Mm -hmm. So obviously you want to see this project that is um, on your company succeed. Yeah. The third way to look at this is um, as artists who are looked up to as, okay, role these models. are role models and the people who've done ABCD, mm. it's our responsibility to leave the industry way better than we found it. it. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like, I always tell people if the student is not better than the master. The master has failed. Uh -huh. Then the master has failed. Because your students shouldn't start from where you started from. They mm -hmm. should start from where you're ending. But I paint the palace body, that's where they should start from. And that's what I've tried to do with a lot of young artists who I've worked with is just make sure they see things from not the way I saw things when I was coming in, but mm -hmm. the way I th see things now. now. It saves them the time and the hassle of having to go through all this learning process. Mm -hmm. They come to me and I tell them exactly how I think they should approach the game. Mm -hmm. And at the end of the day, every artist has got their own way of doing things and yeah. things haven't happened differently for different artists. So yeah. um, all in all, I'm super proud of what he's doing. Mm -hmm. I'm super proud of all these um, young artists who are coming in and breaking mm. barriers. Mm. Barriers that even us couldn't mm. break in when we were just coming up. And at the end of the day, I really expect, it's not even like a want mm -hmm. anymore. It's, it's an expectation. Like I expect the ones coming after us to be better than us. Yeah, nice. Because if they are not, then how is the industry growing? You know, that sort of thing. Exactly. Success is not success if it's not successive. Exactly, yeah. yeah. You, you are so inspirational, man. Very, very influential. You, you talk about too much influence, which is very true. Which is very true. Talking about using your influence, um, what exactly are you doing in this, in this period we're in, in terms of like fighting COVID-19? Is there anything uh, you're doing for the public out there? Any music? Uh, yeah, we've, we've, I've been part of like... Three. Th three projects. <laughs> Three uh, big projects. The first one was um, 
with uh, Ponchano Kaiche, Maureen Lilanda, Wezi, Shefi. Mm-hmm. And it also had like Mr. Nguzu and Barbara from the Chipolo Polo National Soccer Team, the Chipolo Polo National Soccer Team. Mm-hmm. The second one was um, the All Star one with JK, Rich Busy, Dan D, Chess, Dan, ABCD, and Mampi and them. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It had like 17 artists on it. Mm-hmm. And the um, final one is the recent one. Um, it twitches me, your maps, and Wesley. Mm. Yeah. Wow, so nice um, mm. this is something that's affecting all of us. So um, all of us need to, you know, um, step up and, and and do what we can do to yeah. to curb it. I totally agree with you. And uh, we, as artists, we should definitely all play our parts and uh, you know ensure that our fans out there are protected and uh, COVID nineteen is prevented because. At the end of the day, uh, if our fans die, who are we going to entertain? If our fans exactly. die, uh, who is going to listen to our music? Who is going to, to pay our bills? Because pretty much they, they, are, they, they are the bosses. We, they are our masters and we, we work for them basically as entertainers. When they are having fun, uh, we get paid. We get paid for their fun. <laughs> exactly. Exactly, man. Yeah. So nice one. So I want to test your um, SRHR skills. And when Thank I say you, that, yes, sir, yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I'm talking about sexual reproductive health rights. Okay. Yes, sexual and reproductive this health and rights. This is the point where this guy really makes me look dumb. <laughs> <laughs> so I just want to taste like how much information you have about you know sexual reproductive health. Okay. Yeah, just like different issues to do with uh, choices that people make. Um, issues of HIV, mm-hmm. yeah. So it's you just tell me if, if it's true or false. Okay. I ask you a question, you tell me if it's true or false. Let's test DJ Booga right now. Oh no, we are testing Makitu, not the producer. Okay, so babies can be born with AIDS, which is a acquired immune deficiency syndrome. True or false? False. Why do you see that? Uh, the last time I checked, they they, um, they can only get it while uh, being born, while the mother is giving birth, okay. if um, certain precautions are not taken. Okay. Okay. I want you to listen to the to, to the question. Babies can be born with AIDS. Uh huh. Uh-huh. Your answer is correct. Your your answer false is is the correct answer. So the point there is. You, nobody can be born with AIDS because the first condition is HIV before mm. it, it graduates to AIDS. Yeah, so babies can be born with HIV but not with AIDS. HIV is the actual virus that causes the breakdown and failure of parts of the immune system. When a person has had many infections because HIV has weakened their immune system, they can be defined as having AIDS. So, since we have HIV positive, HIV positive, that's if they haven't used certain... Uh, precautions like mm-hmm. nevaropine. Yes, 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 yes. Yeah, so tefalona HIV but not AIDS. So your answer, false, is the correct answer. Uh, the next question is, it is possible to have HIV for many years and not have any obvious symptoms. True or false? It's true. That's the correct answer. The amount of time it takes to see obvious signs and symptoms of HIV varies and is likely impacted by a person's age, whether or not they have access to proper health care, uh, and other factors such as person's general health. Um, a person can get HIV by sharing a needle or syringe with someone who is HIV positive. True or false? That's true. Correct. The man is a genius. No, this is basic <laughs> knowledge. <laughs> So, in case you didn't know, sharing injecting uh, equipment is an efficient way to transmit blood-borne viruses such as HIV and hepatitis C. Sharing needles and uh, other in, uh, injecting equipment is thought to be around three times more likely to transmit HIV than sexual intercourse. That's a fact. You have to have a lot of sexual partners to get an STI. True or false? False. Why do you say that? (laughs) (laughs) That's correct. Um, If someone with HIV coughs or sneezes near other people, they could get the HIV virus. Which virus can they get? 
Corona. <laughs> <laughs> that is correct. You can get HIV from mosquitoes. True or false? False. Correct. Someone who looks healthy can pass on an STI. True or false? True. Correct. Apart from HIV, all sexually transmissible infections can be cured. True. False. Really? While most STIs can be cured if they are diagnosed and treated early, not all are curable. So I'm sure there are there are other STIs just like HIV that cannot be cannot be cured. Wow, you learn something every day. Yeah. Um so HIV having HIV increases your chance of getting certain types of infections. True or false? Um true because it compromises your immune system. That's very true. That's very, very true. Because uh, So these are called opportunistic infections. They take advantage of your weak immune system. Because there's HIV, they, they take advantage. That's why we talk about adherence. Mm -hmm. So, well done. There are treatments for HIV that can help people to live long, to, to live long term with the virus. True or false? True. Very true. Treatment options for HIV continue to develop and have had a huge impact on the lives of people with HIV and those who care for them. Treatments can reduce HIV-related illnesses, admissions to hospital, and death rates. So DJ Buga got almost every question correct. Uh, you are the man. Except one. Uh, yeah, I know, right? <coughs> yeah, but uh, very close. Uh, so well done. Thanks. Thanks a lot, man. Yeah, it's been it's been a pleasure hosting you, um, you so on Unplugged. Um, I know that we are not paid to talk; we are paid to sing. So maybe this is the part that everybody has been waiting for, where they can just get to hear you do a little something. A little something. Some, some. Yeah, and you <laughs> you have a span of hits over the years. You say, uh, you know, you've been around for a very long time. Other people only heard you maybe around two thousand and nine or maybe 2007 when you won your first Born and Bread yeah. as most controversial guy, you know, but, but you had been around even like as far back as 2001, 2002, you know? Yeah. yeah, so I don't even know where, how easy it's going to be for you to pick a song that you're going to, to give us. Uh, and maybe you, you should give a reason why you picked that particular song. I think let's do Nango and Shinge because um, I wrote that song when I was really like going through stuff and oh. It's a song that I use not just to encourage people, but to encourage myself too. Um, it's really like a don't give up song. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So, yeah. Mm. That's what we're doing. Nice one. All right, so I'm going to invite uh, guitarist Kennedy Sakala uh, to come and uh, strum the guitar uh, in readiness for this performance for DJ Boogie. Mr. Kennedy Sakala, please. So it's an acoustic session right now, and uh, he's giving us Nangubanching. So we have a little ching come to a new fixture message and to help us with inspiration. Big shout out to Tim Maki too. They are also watching us live on Facebook. Uh, remember that this broadcast is brought to you by BBC Media Action and Restless Development on a platform we call Tikambe, which is a platform. For young people, we discuss different issues, talk about decision making, yeah, making the right choices, and it's all about inspiring people. So we bring influencers like Makitu to be able to share his story so that you know that, oh, Nabe Nabar got a couple challenges, what about Pitamum life? So it's very possible that if he did it, you can also did it. <laughs> nice one. Are you ready, Mr. Kennedy? Yeah, we recorded this song in um, in 2011. You know, I had some. I was in, it's funny we, we we talked about this earlier. Um, I was in trouble with the law, and um, I had just come out of prison. We we actually have a picture with me in a, yeah, in yeah. an orange jumpsuit. Yeah, I think we were you know? Yeah, yeah, and that was really like a turning point in my life. You know. And um, this is the first song we recorded. It's called wow. Nangwanchi. Yeah. 
chinge ukufilwa na kana na la tu kusha paka fini mfwai mpaka fini mfwai nangu banchinge ukufilwa na kana na la tu kusha paka fini mfwai mpaka fini mfwai Pasini mutumba amaya no nangu fepini nga kubumuka ni buryo bwa mumatini na kwete fefuloso kuisunga kwa tirini sibenzo biriva chenze kuni baba nenze ni bewa nzanga wonse benzo tava mushana rishama pantu a weta kwaba funale ipushale sawantine bo mushawa uh, i'm a legend in the game now ni wechi bulu if you never heard my name now teti munseche waletia ndi mutwe brain in my foot don't talk about my chinge Ukufilwa na kana na la tulu kusha paka fini mfwai Paka fini mfwai Nangu banchinge Ukufilwa na kana na la tulu kusha paka fini mfwai Mpaka fini mfwai Eee Eee Penenzo yamba flow bezo kambati ni fake Penenzo yamba flow bezo kambati ni leke Manje na watezi ni sai na machei Na mene bezo shusha ni bauza Ni yopa yamba wandu Ni peze kana wandu nezo Na che pa video Pa video Sit here and got it, I went there to get it Five years later, I'm the most limited So nangu baku chinge boy, don't lose the hope Don't even miss it up, uzi uze che Nangu baku chinge Ukufilwa na kana na la tulu kusha paka fini mfwai Mpaka fini mfwai Nangu baku chinge Ukufilwa na kana na la tulu kusha paka fini mfwai Mpaka fini mfwai Niofia bantu, vene nenzo yopa Neopo ni chimfia pafuni kamilopa Mapapa ratzi, wadi nilo ni kopa Dine mupondo koma sindi neopompa I got game like Messi So when I step on the mic, I live to get messy Messi, oh cool Even when I'm playing on the mic, it still sound cool I remember back then, vale mwena moloko Vale tila uyota, vale ufwa na foko Vale fwa baka lindula mabanjo na bongo Wati ulio mukamba, kanda bongo Man, tayadi nomo Kubole la mwisho ufungwa tuwala puromo Batini fotuli go kuchula nomo Fanti tualeti Wanchinge Ukufilwa na kana na la tulu kusha paka fini mfwai Mpaka fini mfwai Nangu wanchinge Ukufilwa na kana na la tulu kusha paka fini mfwai Mpaka fini mfwai Patishani Chiku wale season Respect man, respect. Uh, that, that's a very beautiful song, especially when you sing it acoustic like this. It brings a, a new feel that makes one reflect. So I was paying attention to the lyrics and for some yeah. reason caught my attention, man. Big up. Thanks, you, man. You Thanks, are man. you're a writer and a half. Thanks, we man. once wrote a song together actually. Uh, for, oh yeah, yeah, for Francia. For Francia, Wallace. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, nice one, nice one. So, 
Makitsu, thank you very much for coming on, on Unplugged. And uh, remember to stay healthy, protect yourself, do the right thing, sanitize your hands all the time, uh, no handshakes, no hugging, uh, social distancing. Let's accept the new normal and live by the precautions that have been uh, put in place by the, by the authorities. Definitely. Um, yeah, we'll get through this too, you know. And um, yeah, we just have to adhere to, to what we're supposed to do and um, we'll be okay. Yeah. Uh, thank you so much for, for making uh, the Copper Belt more famous than Copper <laughs> ever did. <laughs> the king bless, of Copper La Swag. Makitu was my guest today on Unplugged. Uh, thank you so much for tuning in. We salute you and we love you. Big up. Stay safe.